It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Brew Age Ice Knacker. This is an iced barley wine coming in at 12.2% ABV. There's a look at the bottle label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. I am actually a big fan of this company, Brew Age, or this brewery, should I say. Company's a little bit too formal, isn't it? A, bit, a little bit too corporate. Let's call them a brewery. Yeah, big fan of Brew Age. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. A beer in the glass then. Oh, oh look at that. Okay, so good levels of carbonation. What a wonderful looking beer. Before we get into it, I just want to mention our channel sponsor who were kind enough to send us the beer. It's beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK. Probably the largest beer store in the UK. They've got a, 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 an aircraft carrier shelter full of the stuff. It's huge. Uh, yes, it's, it's a massive place. Um, beers of Europe, we've been with them now for, uh, it's five years, four, it's uh, maybe four years, four years, yeah, maybe four years. Um, fantastic company to work with. I've had some wonderful beers over the years. It's August, so I think the first ever beer they sent me was brew, a, a beer called, from Brewdog called Mashtag. Um, and that was about four years ago now. Uh, so that was fan pretty fantastic. Um, yeah, the largest online beer store in the UK. Beer from Germany, Austria, Belgium, France, America, UK, Australia. You can get beers from all over the world. So check out the link in the description box of the video, beersofeurope.co.uk. On with the beer review. Yeah, that looks really nice. Um, I just... I very rarely do this, I re I, but I, I've got to be honest with you guys, I, I checked out Rape Beer just now. I had a wander over to the computer. Um, it's in the top 50 of Austria's beers, this. Um, a little logo come up on the website. And it looks pretty wonderful. Pretty, pretty. Pretty is the word. Even amounts of carbonation rolling up the... The, the outside of the glass there. Nice levels of carbonation. It's a very small head, but ah, that's fine, that's fine. A red ale, a deep ruby red ale, quite clear. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it smells incredible, incredible. So they brew a barley wine. Let me explain an ice spock. They brew a barley wine and then they freeze it. Once they freeze it, the alcohol stays the same, it doesn't freeze. The water freezes. So they take the ice that freezes out of the beer and they let it warm up again. And the result is that there's less water, more product and alcohol, so you have a higher ABV. So that's a, a very brief description of an ice box. If you want to know more, Google it. Right, let's, let's, it smells fantastic. Licorice, caramel, nuttiness, vanilla, brown bread. It smells fantastic. I've got to dive into this one. Cheers, everybody. Oh! Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows! What a beer! Incredible! Absolutely incredible! Nutty, biscuity, bready, hints of vanilla, hints of licorice, hints of raisin, plum, fig, touch of red wine. Oh, this is so 
so good, so good. Licorice and toffee and you get an aspect of the even well we're in August but it's a bit of a grey day out there and, and you think mm, what's coming up next? A few months we'll all be thinking about Christmas, won't we? And then alcoholic chocolates you buy. In fact I think I got a box just to show you. If it's easy ugh, easel easily available to grab then I'll grab it. Ah there we are. Do you know these things? Alcoholic chocolates. I suppose we could review these soon. Why not? It's got an aspect of that, of, of that about it. It's got just a nice chocolatey alcohol. And the, and the alcohol sitting now in the pit of my stomach feels fantastic. Um, with the current job that I'm doing, I'm only a able to drink now two days a week, just just so busy late in the night. And in the mornings, before I can't really drink before I go to work, so I'm limited to, to what I drink. And it's down to about two and a half days a week. So when I do have a beer, and you've got a really good beer, it just pull, puts a smile on your face. And it makes you realize why you started the whole beer journey in the first place. In previous jobs, it's been like two beers every other night. Upload them to YouTube. Now it's, it's like I go five days without a beer. And I'm, by the end, by Sunday night, I'm clawing. I'm like, oh, I really need a beer. But so we're, we're, we're here on a Monday talking to you in the daytime. I'm drinking a, an, an ice bock. 12.2% ABV and you realize why you do such jobs. You realize that the small moment in life that you get to enjoy a beer and a really good beer in that makes it all worth it. And that's, that, that's, that's the reason why you started the beer journey in the first place. I think and this is probably turning into a little bit of a blog about myself, and I apologise for that, but I'll be very brief and very quick. I think I started to lose the... Because I was drinking really good beer every other night for three years, maybe four years in a row. Because I had a, I had a different pattern before that, but that's the past. So for the last four years at least, I've been drinking beer every other night. Two beers, very, very good beer. And it's like anything in life. It, it becomes too familiar. It becomes... You don't really appreciate it because you're doing it every other night. You're doing it more or less all of the time. So when you have a gap of five days and you're able to, to, to get a fantastic beer, you just want to stone the crows and enjoy it even more, even more. So what a fantastic ice box then from Brew Age in Austria. I'm going to rate this one. I'm going to give it a bit of a stonking review. The mouthfeel is incredible. It sticks on your palate. The carbonation slightly pushes the beer up around your palate and it, ah oh yeah, it's good, it's really good. Caramel flavour, biscuity flavour, nutty flavour. Yeah, it's a damn good beer. It's a damn good beer. It's full of plum and fig and it's really good. Really, really good. I, I understand why this beer has made it into Austria's top 50 beers. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.